What's up ninjas, it's Poir, and today I'm going to show you a new method where we can save scum armor augmentations. Recently discovered by a Japanese player, I'll leave a link to their video in the description and pinned comment, but they found a way to basically, uh, yeah, save scum armor pieces so you don't have to waste all your essences, you can just quit out and then get a whole new batch of effects um, every time. So I'm going to show you how to do that method today, and yeah, first step is going to be Go to your options and then turn save data, turn your auto save off. Make sure it is not on, make sure it's off. This way your game doesn't save after everything you do. So after you do that, now you want to hard save manual. So auto save off, save your progress. That way when you quit out, if you don't get the results you want, you return back at this point with auto save off still. So now go to the blacksmith and for this method, I actually recommend Testing all your armor first, so your whole build, right? Test each piece one at a time before shuffling, basically. Because you might be skipping, you know, good rolls on, you know, let's say your waist if you're only focused on your helmet. You don't want to be missing those good rolls that these might have because you're changing the table constantly on just the helmet. So make sure to do each piece for your build. But otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you how to do one piece at a time. And you can do that if you want to as well. So. When you have your armor, we're going to use Luna Garen as an example. What you want to do at the very start is test the armor. What rolls are you going to get? Because, I mean, you might get something good off the bat, and you don't want to just, like, uh, yeah, cross over it. So I have offensive guard, and now I have load shells. And then master mounter. So keep a, keep an eye on these effects, because they're going to they're gonna have to change to confirm that the method's actually working. So Stamina Thief, and then we'll do one more. Poison Attack. Okay, so those are our base. So now, those are not that good, right? So let's return to title. Do not save. So when it says save and quit, press circle or no, and quit to title screen without saving. That's very important. Make sure to not save whenever you get something you don't want. And then just go back in the game. Okay, so now we're back in, and just to confirm, I'm going to do the same thing over again. As you can see, because we didn't save, we didn't use any of our materials, so we got all severed back. And as you can see, low shells, um, master mounter. So the same exact order that we're getting our skills in as before. Uh, so that's before we do the method. That's just to confirm that there's a set, like, uh, rotation for skills that you get. So we're going to have to do a certain unique weird trick to uh not have that happen so here is the method basically now we're gonna go to curious weapon crafting and you don't want a, a weapon it doesn't matter which one i've tested them all um it doesn't matter if like you, like you test this one and then go this one they're all the same so just pick any weapon press x then go to something that's unequipped it says right here right unequipped simply press x and then circle back out cancel and that is the method <laughs> so now when we go here augment we have a totally different skill reload speed now and then steadiness divine blessing windproof minus one wire bug whisper so that is how you do the method now you're gonna have to increase the plus one every single time so right now it's plus one right we just did it one time but if you do it one time and come back and do it one time again, you're going to get the same exact skills. So you're going to have to do it two times. And then the next time you're going to have to do it three times. Um, so in order to avoid that, every time you do this, before you start testing your gear, I would save. That way you don't have to do all those X's. But let's return to the title so I can show you that. Now for me personally, from what I've tested, it seems like going like plus one, two, three, you kind of get some of the similar skills down the line, it seems. So what I would actually recommend is like going by five or 10. So just to confirm, we have our stuff back. So we're going to get the same exact rolls. So now let's go here and then X, X, X circle, X circle, X circle, and just keep doing that basically a couple times. Something like that. Now, you want to save. 
So you don't have to do that every single time. And then we check our armor again. Which is going to be different. And bada boom. Blade skill hone. Nice. So yeah, I would skip... Uh, I would do like 5 or 10 at, at a time rather than just 1 or 2. I seem to be getting like more different skills where if I did like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, in order. Um, it seems to kind of generate some of the similar skills. And like as I mentioned, let's say these skills on this helmet suck. Um, you would quit out, come back. And then you would test like your chest piece now. And if that's not good, quit out, come back. Then your gloves, quit out, come back. And then after you checked all your pieces, then you would do this step right here where you uh, do that mama jumbo. <laughs> so that is the method. That's basically it. That is how to save scum and save hours and hours and hours of wasted materials uh, if you just do that. And yeah, hopefully that helps you guys get some good armor and avoid some of the RNG, just like we did with Talisman. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Check out the Japanese video if you want to see the Japanese version. And hope you guys enjoyed. More builds and stuff to come. And I'll see you guys next time for more Sunbreak Epicness.